as much as I thought I would in this movie, too. Yeah, Groot was great. Even this guy. The Who? brother had a decent story arc. Does oh, Nebula yeah, look yeah. as boxy as she does in that picture throughout the whole movie? Okay, can I? I mean, all right. All right. All right. All right. No, no. All right. This, oh, I know. I know. No, down, no, 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 no. Let, let's, let's, this, I actually have a theory on this and I was going to try, I want to try to be PC enough to handle this correctly. So my thoughts on why Gamora looks the way she does right now is, and I'm trying to be, I'm trying to dance around this without being offensive or anything. Okay. And I, I want to try to be professional about it. I believe back when they made Guardians 1, just like you remember Shazam 1, I don't think they are intentionally desexualizing her. And I still think she's got a womanly figure. Karen Karen Gillian is a beautiful person, right? Mm -hmm. She is a little bit of a slimmer person. And my, my opinion of what was going on, she was extremely curvaceous looking in the first guardians you know i believe that just like like just when you first got um scarlett johansson in iron man 2 she looked real you know the beginning marvel mcu films just like they did for shazam and they added padded you know padded muscles to him i think they gave her a little bit of padding up there and in the trunk uh, on her first interpretation, in with built in within the, the costume, movie? built in the costume, and then this is just her own natural. I think that yeah. is why you're seeing a difference. And wait, I don't wait, think wait, I, wait. Yeah. You, you thought she looked curvy in the first movie. Look at the look at the poster. That's where people are getting this argument from. Let me bring it up. Uh, Nebula, Guardians of the Galaxy One. If you look at the tri- if you look at the poster. I just think that's just in the costuming, um, just like they pad in muscles, they pad in curves. And I, I, I wanted to try to handle that as, as adult as I can, because I know there's a discussion about why she looks different. And I yeah, just but Is that even a real picture, what you've got up there, that poster picture? Or is that just yes. a, like a Photoshop thing? No, I think that's how For she everybody. looks with it. Yeah. Well, uh, why are people concerned about Karen Gillen's curve? <laughs> They are thinking that it's gone woke, where they're de-emphasizing uh, women. Her attributes. womanly figure. That's what. Yes. She's, a, she's a metal woman. What is, I, why are you people talking about? This? Cyborg lives matter. That's why DL. They should be treated the same. Look, okay. yeah, if, if y'all like to whack off to certain things, that's not my problem. But oh, you know, right. this is people <laughs> right, are right, talking here, about. Here, here, here. Well, no, I'm not. Listen, there is a difference, but I'm I'm just explaining to you why. Just like they, just like uh, you know, they 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 so in padded muscles for certain characters. I think they gave mm-hmm. a little more emphasis in certain areas in the costuming. I'll well, bring I up really... I'll bring up I re, I'll bring up the first image to show you. Okay. Uh, this is from right. Guardians of the Galaxy one. And I just think it's in the costume design. I think it's in the costume she was wearing that they designed it that way for the male gaze because that is a thing in comics. They did, you know. Now that's a difference, DL. You can't dispute that. Okay, I see some breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't want to be, you know. Uh, let me see. No, I it doesn't I'm matter. Probably... It doesn't matter. No, it's not. But it's a I, noticeable but I, difference. But the, it's not the, the the thing that the, the the this the topic is that it's an agenda to do it where I just think it's like oh we're not going to put our actresses through this you know this isn't the this isn't what we're focused on whereas in the beginnings of the MCU they weren't as you know they did it they weren't as good it, it doesn't really matter no it doesn't no mm. but I don't think it my final thought on it is I don't think it was an intentional to be woke I think it's just that they're not padding. Their characters with, you know, fluff to to sexualize them like they may have done in the past, even in the MCU. And if you don't think they did that, go look at Scarlett Johansson in, in Iron Man Two. Oh my God, was she sexualized? Mm. Oh, she certainly was. Yes, yes. <laughs> that hair flip. Woo! And then so was Thor. And the, the camera and was, so up was up Thor. on her. Ass. 
The yes. camera's up on her ass. Yeah, so they <laughs> em- they emphasize certain areas in his early costumes, for sure. I Golly, mean, that even, movie even, was even Captain even yeah. Captain America. That's Captain America's ass, you know? All right. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah. Did I cover that well enough where I'm not? I think that was well done. Yeah. Yes. But I, I don't think it's intentional. I just think that they're not sewing and padding. Yeah, but the the point is that picture is a bit jarring, but it's not jarring in any way in the movie, obviously. That's what you're saying, right? No, it, once you're in the movie, it doesn't matter. You're not, you're not really mm-hmm. focused on that at all, you know. Okay. Good. Um, but... <laughs> I, because I talked to a friend after it, and they were asking about that specific thing, and I was like, "This is what I think happened." I don't think I don't think they were trying to over wokeify Nebula. I just think that they they patted her in the past. Oh, see, world champ gun went woke. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no, I don't think it's that. Well, you know what? Address that, both of you. Is there anything people can interpret as woke in this film? Because you know, there's people who are going to be looking for that. I'm trying to think there was a line that I was like, but I forget what they were talking about. Yes, there is something, but... Uh, it's one line. I don't, remember, I don't remember anything. Um, I do. I did like, oh, but I can't even remember what it was. Uh, because I don't look for that. Yeah, but I, no, I, I know you don't look for it. I remember there was one line. Like, oh, okay, people are gonna... Whatever it was, I don't, I don't think there was anything. Like, it, 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 it's not, nothing's like in your face. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's like agenda or anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Star Wars, not Star Lord's not uh, excessively like bumbling or anything like that. Or mm-hmm. no, no. Okay, well there you go. That's good news for those people. No, um, yeah, and Star Lord at the beginning you're concerned about, but no, he has he he's not sidetracked for the, the ladies of the galaxy. No, <laughs> no, it's not he, the MCU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the men the men the men had some in this story had some great action roles definitely. Hmm. Well, no, and, and you know what that thing we watched the other night where they were reading the IGN comments, like James Gunn said, you're the lead in the film, and so you know I'm sure he is the lead in the film. Mm-hmm. All right, let me see what this other article is here. Uh oh. <laughs> 